Hello, this is Robin from Cowboy Studio. Today we're going to take a look at how to set up our 16 rod octagon soft box. This box comes in four different versions. It comes with either a Bowen speed ring or an Alien B speed ring. And it comes with or without the grid. Now note that the grid cannot be added later after your purchase. So if you want the grid, you have to buy it with the original purchase. Now let's take a look at the parts of the softbox. First, as I mentioned, we have our speed ring. We have the rods that support the structure of the softbox. We have the body of the softbox itself. There will be an outer diffuser and an inner diffuser. And if you get the option with the grid, of course, your unit will come with a grid. We'll look at how to put all of these pieces together now. Okay, let's take a look at how to assemble the softbox. First, lay your speed ring out with the holders for the rods facing up. Take your softbox, open it up, and there'll be a, a hole at the back with some Velcro strips. Open up the Velcro strips to give yourself some room to work. Lay the softbox out around the speed ring. Then take I usually try to take four rods to start with and take each rod and you're going to run it through, there's two holders inside the speed ring, run it through the first and the second and then place it into one of the holes in the speed ring. And then there should be a Velcro flap along the outside edge of the ring, slide the tip with the silver piece into that slot. Now, with this one, I'm going to skip three spaces and put in the second one. Now this time I'm going to run it behind the speed, well, put it through the two holders in the center. Skip three spaces on the ring should be at a 90 degree angle to the first one and slide it into the slot. Now this time I'll be putting this rod into the speed ring last. So skip three more slots. Now this time I'm going to put it into the speed ring last. So I'll take, find my three, skip my three. Now this one will take a slight bend to the rod to slide it into the hole. Slide it in fully. The fourth rod, it gets a little cumbersome here. This will be easier once we have a little bit of structure to the soft box. Again, slide this one past the speed ring, put it into the slot in the outside first. Now, we'll bend the speed ring into place and put the rod in the hole. Now we have the basic shape of our speed ring. I'll show you how to do one more and then I'll show you how to do the last one. So. Again, pass the speed ring under the Velcro on the, on the outside of the soft box, bend the rod, and place it into the hole. Okay, I'll finish it up and I'll come back when I'm about to do the last one. Okay, just one more rod to go. Just like the others, 
I'll run it through the supports in the center, pass the speed ring, slide the silver tip into this Velcro slot, then slightly push the speed ring back, pull on the rod, and slide it into the hole. Now, as you can see, we've got the basic structure of the speed ring in place. Now, for the diffusers and the grid. Okay, let's take a look at how to insert the diffusers into the soft box. First, we'll do the inner diffuser. The inner diffuser has little Velcro tabs. There will be 16 of these around the outside edge. And inside, several of the, of the, the outer supports that were used for the rods are also Velcro. So we'll just take and attach the Velcro from the diffuser to these Velcros inside the soft box. Now the installation of the inner diffuser is complete. Now the outer diffuser also connects with Velcro. There's a wide Velcro strip along the outer edge of the soft box. There's also Velcro on the inside, on the outer edge of the diffuser. If you have a grid with your box, this Velcro strip will be wider. This is an example of one with the grid. In this case, you will want to t attach the outer diffuser to the, the inside portion of the Velcro. This will give, leave room for the grid. Okay, now the installation of our outer diffuser is complete. Now for the grid. The grid also has Velcro strips. You attach it with the Velcro towards the inside of the soft box. And there you go. The, in, the uh, building of your soft box is complete. The back, the speed ring on the soft box does spin. There's a locking mechanism. Once you get it in place, there's a locking screw on the inside. You can lock it down to keep it from turning. There's also flaps, Velcro flaps along the back side that you can close to keep light from leaking out the back. That's it. Thank you from Cowboy Studio.